Hello there, welcome back to Work Life Harmony. Megan Sumrall here, and today I wanna to share with you why I absolutely am obsessed with a tool called Trello. Now, if you have tried Trello before and it didn't work for you, I would encourage you to listen to this episode because you might walk away feeling inspired to actually give it another go. Full disclosure, uh, I attempted to use Trello at least three different times in my life over the past many, many years. And it took me understanding some of the key benefits to it and how to leverage it to get me 100% on board where, I, where now, like if I did not have Trello, I cannot imagine how I would run my life. Um, and the reason I wanna share this with you all is I'm gonna be going through five things that I love about Trello. I'll tell you what the first one is right now, which is why I'm excited to share this with you. Trello is free. So understand that everything I'm gonna be talking about here today you get for free when you, uh, you know, choose to jump in and give Trello a shot. Um, for me, you guys know how much I love paper planners when it comes to managing my time and organizing my calendar. Paper is my go-to. That is my command center for understanding what needs to be done and when. However, there are a million other things that we need to stay on top of and organize in our life. And that is where Trello comes into play for me. So at the most basic example, um, and if you've been through my top boot camp, we talked about this a lot on the day where we talk about, you know, your big list, all the things, your task list. I want to ask you this, where do you keep the big Mac daddy, all the things that you've got to get done list. Now, if you're like I was many years ago, it may look similar to what I was using, which was about 15 different things. Uh, you know, scrawling notes on the back of envelopes, old envelopes, that post-it note that was in your car that then got wedged between the two seats in my minivan. Some of it would go in my planner. Some of it was an electronic task list on my phone or my computer. Um, and I noticed, I was starting to notice a pattern in my life where all these important things that I needed to keep on top of were scattered across so many different places that some were electronic, some were paper, and unfortunately, I was really relying on my brain to try and keep a hold of all those things as well. And it really just creates a lot of stress, a lot of churn, a lot of missed opportunities, a lot of forgotten things, because I didn't have one place that I could use to really help me organize all the other parts of my life. When it comes to organizing my time, my planner is still my go-to. But when it comes to organizing everything else, I use Trello. So let's dive into some of the ways we can use it and the five reasons why I love it. So the first, which I've already talked about is Trello is free and Trello is simply T-R-E-L-L-O.com. So when you go sign up, again, totally free. Do they have paid plans on Trello? Yes, they do. I used Trello for years on the free platform and it had everything that I needed. The only reason why I ended up shifting to a paid version of Trello was for two key features. Um, most of you will not need one of them. You may learn here, um, I create a ton of templates in Trello that I include in my Trello for top, standing for time management, organization, and productivity course. So I have a course out there um, and I, in that course, I have a ton of templates that you can go and grab uh, to just help you get up and running. So if you want to create templates and share them with others, you need the paid version. Um, the second reason why some people will choose to pay is if you want to leverage multiple power-ups. Again, that's more advanced stuff. I was running with Trello for years before I upgraded to the paid plan, and you can too. So first and foremost, it is free. The second reason why I love it is just how easy it is to learn. 
So, you know, there are a ton of, and you know, people will call Trello a project management tool. I really, I choose not to call it that. I just choose to call it an incredible organizational tool because it can do so much more than manage a business or manage projects. And I'm going to share with you some of the ways that I use it that have nothing to do with traditional project management. Um, but maybe someone has introduced you to Asana or Monday.com or Airtable and you go and look at those and it's overwhelming. I agree, it really is. <laughs> Trello, however, is so elegantly simplistic to get started on. A great way to think about it um, is imagine you had a huge whiteboard and a bunch of post-it notes. And you went and brainstormed a bunch of ideas all over your post-it notes, stuck it on your whiteboard. And now, you're, now you have that ability to pick up and move all those notes around. That is visually kind of what Trello looks like. And so the ease of learning it makes it incredible. They also have a ton of videos, tutorials, help, all of that. Um, I know for some people, a barrier to entry with Trello is almost that it does look so easy. You, you, you know, create your account and you look at it and you're just kind of looking at a blank screen going, I'm not sure what to do here. But again, that's because learning it, it give yourself five, 10 minutes. It's incredibly powerful. So now you know it's free. Now you know it is very easy to learn. Now, a third reason that makes it so powerful is you can use it from your computer just through a browser, but then you can also download the app for your phone or your tablet. So what this means for you is you can access this information on the go or at home. So instead of when you remember something that you need to jot down, instead of grabbing that, you know, scratch piece of paper in your car, you can open up your Trello app super quick and dump that information in there and they stay in sync. So then when you go sit back down at your computer, whatever you did from your mobile device, it's all on the cloud. So it's all going to stay in sync for you. So it really does give you that power of full flexibility of being on the go and capturing information that you need. The fourth reason why I love it is you can share this. So if you have family members where maybe you wanna create uh, you know, a repository for planning an event, um, one of the uh, ways that I use Trello is tracking gifts. So I've got a board in Trello where every card is a name of a person that I you know, like to do birthday or holiday gift giving to that I can capture any information about them, gift ideas, etc. I can then share that with my husband so that way he can go in, um, add information and we can you know, work on that together. So similar to sharing like a Google document out on Google Drive, Trello, you can choose to share and invite other people. And you can do that again for free. So it does give you that great collaboration. Now, the fourth reason why I love it, which I've already alluded to, is the fact that it creates one-stop repository for so much. This has given me the ability to really organize all aspects of my life that don't go on my planner. Because remember, my planner is where I'm organizing my time. So let's jump into some of the crazy ways that I use Trello. And for those of you listening, I would love to know how you use it as well. And most of the ideas that I'm going to share here telling you how I use it, I either teach in my Trello course, I show you how I do it, or I've got the template for you that I've created that you can go grab as well. So as I talk through this, if you're thinking, okay, this sounds pretty cool. All you need to do is jump on over to Trello for top, T-O-P, standing for time management, organization, and productivity. So if you just go to trellofortop.com, you will get the full scoop on this little Trello course that has exploded. <laughs> the feedback from everybody who's been through it, they're like, oh my gosh, Trello is changing my life. Um, so here are just some of the fun ways that I use it. I actually run pretty much my entire business on Trello. So I have a board in Trello that plans all of my content 
and my social media for the entire month, week, month, day, year. So all of that is managed on Trello and shared out with my team. So we have one central repository for all of that. I also have a board that serves as what I call my personal command center. So, you know, I'm someone who uh, I invest in a lot of courses myself. Um, and I just want you to think about what are all those things that you acquire digitally that then you're like, God, where do I go to access that again? So it links to software that I use, links to all of the online courses that I've purchased with any relevant login information that I might need to go access those and the name of it and how I'm tracking all of that. So, you know, I know people are always like, oh, I can't, and they're digging through email, trying to remember, you know, all this stuff, the, maybe the coupon codes, the affiliate links, all of that. I have one central command center that has all of that information for me. And it makes me laugh because just the other day, I do love affiliate marketing. Um, and I shared out an affiliate link for my pens that I love. And someone's like, how do you keep track of all that? I'm like, oh, it's like two clicks. And I've got all my links right there in my command center Trello board. Uh, I do all my gift planning for birthdays and holidays, as I mentioned. I have an entire board for that as well. Um, I use Trello as my creative workspace. So anytime I have an idea of maybe a, um, a training that I want to do, a course that I want to build, um, I know a lot of people use this for planning books that they want to write content. I use Trello as my creative space for that, where I can just start brain dumping all my ideas out onto a Trello board. Think of back to that visual again of all those sticky notes. And then I can move everything around. I can start to organize it. I can start to categorize it. Um, so it is a fantastic place to go do that kind of creative brainstorming and organization as well. I always start any new idea of a large project by creating a Trello board and getting all my ideas out there because then I can start to move them around and group things together. You can label, you can color code them. Yes, you can link it directly into your calendar if you wanna set due date reminders for yourself. You know, that, that's getting into some more advanced stuff, uh, but I just wanna let you know, it can get tremendously powerful the more you start to use it. Um, I also use this as kind of my backlog of all the ideas. So, uh, you know, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I do a lot of self-development work. I'm always, you know, analyzing what's going on out there in the space. And so I have a board that is what I call my master backlog of any time I get an idea or I hear of something that I'm like, oh, I'd love to do that. I just open up Trello and dump it in there. And then every week as part of my weekly planning process and every month in my monthly planning process, I pull up that Trello board and all those things that have come to me over the last week or month are sitting there so I don't forget about them. And then now I can weigh them against each other, prioritize them, figure out when I actually wanna move into a potential implementation mode. Um, sometimes I look at them and go, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't wanna do that. And I go delete the thing off the backlog as well. But instead of when the time comes to plan for something, trying to figure out where I took notes in 15 different places and pull it all together. It is just all sitting there in Trello. Now, for those of you that run a business and maybe you've got some virtual assistants that you, you know, bring onto your team or, you know, bring on employees, et cetera. Trello is a great tool for that. I have a central board. So that way, if I am to bring another person onto my team, I can bring them into that board. And that one board points to all of the tools and information that they would need to get up to speed. Uh, so again, it I, I could go on for hours, for days on all the ways that you can use Trello. Um, I've seen people use it and I've got templates for uh, mapping out chores for kids, uh, for home workouts, organizing and tracking those as well. Uh, again, it the sky is the limit, <laughs> menu planning on Trello. So if you have maybe, if you've never used it, I really want to encourage you to go take a look around, go over to trellofortop.com and you'll, you'll see a little video there that starts to get you excited about what you can do with Trello. 
If you've used it before and went, I don't get it, I would encourage you to go back and take a second look because I've had a number of people I've met where they're like, yeah, I tried it. I don't really get it. I don't think I'm doing it right. And then once they take those first couple steps of understanding what is a board, what is a list, what is a card, and they see it in action, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I get this. And most importantly, I can do this because it's really, really easy to get up and running. So I would love to hear how you are using Trello today. And if you're not, let me know what you think after you go check out a couple quick videos showing you the power of Trello. And I think you just might change your mind. Have a great week, everyone.